how did I know that this was going to happen? Wait, seriously, how how did I know that this was going to happen? First, we have shit going on over in Connecticut. Then we have shit going on in Ukraine. In fact, this video is directly about Ukraine. Obama needs to keep his big nose out of Ukraine. I, I, with all due respect, Uh, for anybody who is from Ukraine who watches this video, I, I, I don't mean any disrespect, but Obama really needs to butt out of this because this is none of America's business. Obama keeps saying that, oh, Russia has has um, committed a crime against international law. They're about to invade Ukraine. They probably, are, actually, according to uh, Fox News, Russia deployed 16,000 troops in Crimea, Ukraine. I, I, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. So, really, is Obama getting ready to start World War Three? I mean, seriously, we have no control over Ukraine or Russia. And Russia's not going to back down with its with their um, invasion of Russia. So really, is this the start of another war? Is this really a beginning of an all-out war that's going to happen between U.S. and Russia because Obama doesn't want Ukraine to be invaded by big, bad Russia? No, no disrespect to anybody, but seriously, we need to butt out of everything, of every last thing. When Syria happened, I thought we were going to go to war. When Afghanistan happened, we thought that we were going to go to war. When, when uh, Iran happened, thought we was going to go to war. When Egypt happened, I thought we was going to go to war. And now, we got Ukraine happening and Russia is preparing for war. Is preparing to actually take over Ukraine. So, is, is this really getting ready to begin another world war? My huge, huge guess is yes. And not to be anti-dramatic, but it's, it's probably going down right now over in Ukraine. Uh, it's, um, let, let, let's see, uh, if, I, if I can just uh, bring up my uh, clock on my phone, uh, my world clock, and I find four minutes about the Ukraine time, is it? I don't know. Let's let's find Ukraine. You, uh, Keith, or Kev, Ukraine. It's 4 a.m. right now, and apparently Russia told them that the deadline was 5 a.m. So, will Ukraine surrender? Most likely not. Is Russia bluffing? Most likely not. Is Obama being an idiot for butting in to Russia's business with Ukraine? I'm not going to really answer that. You guys might think so. I'm not saying it. But we're all probably thinking. We all have different things going on. And when I mean different things, we have our own problems. For example, we got we got people in the White House who believe that restricting guns is a good idea. One, you want to know the last person who thought restricting guns was a good idea? Hitler. Hitler thought restricting guns was a good idea. One of those 
We also thought it was a great idea to restrict guns. King George. Mr. Stalin. And that India guy. And that Cuban guy. And all the other evil dictators that everybody has been afraid of has restricted guns. See, that, that, that's why I love the Constitution. It's because we are guaranteed rights as an American citizen. We are allowed to keep and own a lot of things. Guns being one of them. We are allowed to have guns. But nowhere in the Constitution says we must register. I mean, show me, seriously, show me where it says that you must register a gun. It's just a made up law by, by the government to restrict guns. Do I need to ask those questions again that I asked earlier when I had my face like this? Simple. I'll ask those questions again. So, if somebody would please direct, direct me to uh, link to the Constitution so I can prove that you can own a gun freely and not have it taken away right to bear arms right to own a gun nothing that says register please somebody just link me I don't care link me Another thing, you, Ukraine has been doing their own little revolution thing. They're, they're on their own little civil war going on. And Russia thinks it's a think that they're so big and bad that they're going to freaking invade, um, invade uh, Ukraine and take it over and just claim it as Russia. That's their own country. I'm not saying that it's, it's bad. I'm just saying it's a... Actually, I'm not really saying anything at all because it's really none of my business what happens in Ukraine. And I don't own it. I don't control it. So, really, I have nothing No, nothing whatsoever to be involved with Ukraine and Russia. So we, as the U.S., shouldn't even be affected in any way. Do we get any of our? Do we get any of our goods from Ukraine? I'm assuming no. Do we get any? Any vehicles from Ukraine? No. Do we get any food from Ukraine? No. Do we get any clothes from Ukraine? No. Do we get this from Ukraine? No. All this stuff is made in China. I mean, did we get this from Ukraine? No! This was made in China. And so was this. This thing. Oh, uh, the behind me, I'm sorry. Yeah, the, uh, this. It's a poster. Did we get that poster from Ukraine? No! The internet. Do we get that from Ukraine? No. The internet isn't even from Ukraine. The internet is from the router. How about 
about this? Yeah, yeah, you know, money? Do we get this from Ukraine? As far as I know, no. How about a wallet? Uh, I don't think this is from Ukraine. So, so really, why are we even getting involved with Ukraine? Please, somebody tell me. What is so important to save Ukraine? Uh, and again, no disrespect to anybody from Ukraine watching this, but the U.S. really don't really need to butt in and save Ukraine when really look at what happened to Syria, look at what happened to Egypt, look at Obama's promises and tell me which ones did he keep and which ones did he not keep? Please tell me below in the comments. I I'll be waiting. And watch Watch Mark Zero. Please, by all means, watch him. He, he, he's the guy who, who freaking inspires me to do this. Because not only, only is, is he getting worked up about this, he, he's getting a little afraid. He, he, he kind of knows what he's talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Or at least, I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, we don't get anything from Ukraine. So really, why are we helping Ukraine now? Like I said, no disrespect. And, like I said, comment.